AMC to AMC 2004, problem 19. We have a cylindrical silhouette with a diameter of 30 and a height of 80. A red strip with horizontal width of 3 is painted onto the silhouette as shown, making the two complete revolutions around it. What is the area of the, of the stripe in square feet? Now, this is a curved surface, and we do not like to work with curved surfaces because they are very complicated to deal with. So, to understand cylinders, a key thing about cylinders is that they can be unraveled to be a rectangle. And this is exactly what I've done on the right-hand side of the screen. If you unravel it and you let the point of unraveling to be this dotted line, unraveling it will result in this shape. And this shape is very easy to deal with. How do we find this striped area? Well, this striped area will be the area of the rectangle minus the area of these two triangles. So to find it, it will be very, very, very simple. Now, what is the length of this rectangle? Well, the length of this rectangle will be the circumference of the circle, which is pi times d. Now, what is d? d is given to us to be 30, so the circumference will be 30 pi. Hence, the length will be 30 pi. Now, we're told that the width of this little uh, strip will be 3, so that means that this triangle's height will be 30 pi minus 3. And likewise, can, this can be applied to the bottom as well. Now, what is the height of the cylinder? Well, that's just 80, so the width of the triangle will be 80. And now we are done with the question. Just plug it into our simple uh, area. So area will be the total area of this rectangle. The area total of this rectangle will be 30 pi times 80. And this must be subtracted by 2 times the area of the rec of the triangle. Now, a triangle is based on height divided by 2. So simply, we can just subtract it by the base times the height of one triangle. And of course, this is two triangles. And since one triangle is base times height divided by two, this will check out. So what is base times height? Well, the base times height will be 30 pi minus three times the height of 80. So we are subtracted by 30 pi minus three times 80. Now, if we subtract this out, what will we get? Well, we will simplify it to be 30 pi times 80 minus 30 pi times 80 plus 240. And obviously, these two like terms cancel out, remaining us with 240, meaning that the solution to this question will be answer choice C.